What is it? Something physical, something mental, something emotional. What is it? Okay, the Holy Ghost is here tonight for one reason, to make you a conqueror. Some of you have not submitted your body as a living sacrifice to God. You're still keeping it to yourself. You do whatever you want, whenever you want. It's your body. Nobody's going to tell me what to do with my body. Tonight, you're going to repent of it. You do not own your body anymore. You are going to make yourself a living sacrifice to God. Some of you have not received any giftings at all. Okay? That has to stop. You have to receive them. What giftings? I don't know. That's, that's the Holy Ghost business. Not mine, but you're supposed to receive your gifts. We went over it. If you haven't received your gift, there's something wrong. You've got to fix it. It's not wrong on God's end. It's always wrong on our end. There's no fixing up there. It's always fixed here. I'm, I'm the problem. He's not the problem. Some of you are still conquered by bad habits, chronic negative thoughts, negative emotions that go unchecked. Some of you are physically ill. Your body's the devil's conquering you. And that's not God's will. You are to be a conqueror. Overcomer. That's what you're supposed to be doing. If you're not, the devil is blocking it. And our job is to figure out how he's doing it. It's our job to repent and change. And down deep in your heart, Hey, you got the same faith everybody else got. Yep, you got the exact same amount of faith Catherine Kuhlman got. Okay? Mary Wordsworth Etter got the same faith metro portion you got when you got born again. But you're portion is still the same as it was when you first got saved. Your portion is smaller than it was when you first got saved. Some of you lost your portion. It's gone. Something's got to be done. Somebody's got to do something to fix this. Your finances are jacked up. There's still a curse on your finances. That curse is to be broken off. You still, re you still relapse on porn or alcohol or whatever it is. That is to be conquered. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. <laughs> What's a conqueror? A conqueror is a winner. Somebody's got to change. Time is running out. The devil is about that close to taking over the whole country. He's that close. Everything is going to change in America. Paul mentioned people getting persecuted in this teaching tonight. That's what's going to happen we're going to start to get persecuted. And you've got to be ready to go. You've got to learn to be a conqueror, an overcomer. You have to surrender your body, a living sacrifice. You have to repent tonight of abusing your body. How are you doing it? Whatever, whatever you're doing, you've got to repent of it and stop it tonight. 
You cannot abuse your body anymore. Your body is on the altar to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, uh, I've done the best I could to teach Romans chapter 12 tonight. The teaching was brilliant. The scriptures are spectacular. There are some Christians here tonight who are not overcoming. And I know that hurts you, and I know you want to help them become an overcomer. Jesus was an overcomer. And he wants us to be one. Huh? Well, come on up here if you have something you need to re- change or repent of. To be an overcomer. And we wanna, we're going to pray with you tonight. Please help them, dear Lord. Help them change. Help them repent. Help them turn their body over as a living sacrifice. Help them stop hurting their body, drinking too much, eating too much. Not taking care of themselves. Lord Jesus, help. Please help. If you're abusing your body or neglecting it, or letting it waste away, you're going to die before your time. That's not a living sacrifice. You've got to change your body. You've got to change your mind. You've got to develop the mind of Christ. You cannot do that with chronic negative thoughts flowing through your mind about everything over and over again. You have to change. You have to change how you think Lord Jesus, please help me do that. Dear God, please help me do that. I've wasted so many years. It's gotten to years now I have wasted. Years. I always told myself I'd serve God after my kids grew up and left the home. I didn't. I always told God if I could just get a better spouse, I'd serve him. I got a better one, and I didn't. I always had these big plans and none of them worked out because I never submitted my body a living sacrifice. Please forgive me, oh God. I have wasted so many years. I can't do it anymore. I cannot do it anymore. Now you may not be ready to repent tonight. Hey, we're here for you later. Hey, I understand that. Some people won't repent. Sometimes it's just not their time. They feel uncomfortable with it. I try my best, but you know, some people just can't do it right now. Well, we'll do it later, but you're up here right now. You came down here, so you are well able to do it and receive the Holy Ghost. If you'll just confess it and change, wouldn't you? Dear Lord, I want to be, I want to be a slave like Paul talked about. I'd like to be one of those hands, feet, something serving you. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that. But I gotta submit my body first. I gotta I gotta submit my mind first. That's what I gotta do. I gotta get these demons out. I gotta get these demons from my childhood, from my parents, from my ex-spouse, all these demon-infected people that hung around me for years from childhood on. I got to get rid of these things. They're killing me. They're giving me sicknesses. They're putting chronic negative thoughts in my head. I can't live like this anymore. And I'm going to use my authority in Christ tonight to submit my body and cast these demons out of my body. That's what I'm going to do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Spirit, I command you in the name of the Lord. Come out. I command you in Jesus' holy name. I command you to come out right now. Come on, my body. Come on, my brain. I command you to take those filthy negative thoughts, those bad dreams, those repetitive bad dreams, those nightmares. I command you. I command you to come out of my subconscious. I command you to come out of my subconscious right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity causing me that chronic pain. I've been living in chronic pain since I was a kid. 
I command you, you foul spirit of infirmity and sickness and disease, I bind your power in the name of the Lord, and I command you to come out right now. Spirit of infirmity, sickness, disease, I bind your power now. Mental illness, bipolar, borderline, schizophrenia, clinical depression, anxiety disorder, I place the power of the Holy Ghost to bind your power and I command you I'm not asking you I'm telling you we don't ask around here we tell you what to do devil I'm not asking you I'm not asking your permission I'm telling you <laughs> take your filthy hands off my finances Take your filthy hands on my unemployment, <coughs> my poverty. I command you, come off. Clinical depression, low self-esteem, self-hatred. In Jesus' name, I command you, thus saith the Lord. Let my mind go. Come out right now. Take a breath and blow. And a girl, just take a breath and blow. Just like that. YouTubers, take a breath and blow. The Holy Spirit's starting to move. I'm being patient here while he cranks it up. He's starting to move now. We follow him. He doesn't follow us. Use your authority right now. I command my body to stop eating crap, junk food, garbage, I command this fat to come off my body right now. Loose my body in Jesus' holy name. I repent of eating crap, garbage, neglecting myself, not exercising, not taking care of my body. I repent of not taking care of my spirit. My spirit is not boiling. Paul told me it's supposed to be boiling. I'm supposed to be enthusiastic about my service of God. I'm supposed to be a slave of the Son of God. I'm not supposed to have everything done my way or given to me or have people cater to me. That's a coward's way out. You a coward. Just repent of it. Lord Jesus, forgive me. That's how you repent. Just say that. Lord Jesus, help! Help me! Say it! Help me! Help me! Lord Jesus, help me! That's a great prayer. That's an easy prayer. Lord Jesus, help! Save me, Lord! That's how Peter did it. Lord, save me. If it's good enough for Peter, it's good enough for me. Lord, save me. Help me. Come on, step out of your comfort zone. You got to step out of your comfort zone. The devil's got you pinned down. Okay? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. The devil wrestles you to the ground. He pins you down. He wants to choke you out. Come on now, just repent of it. Satan, I bind your power. I bind your power. I command you to loose me and let me go. I command you to loose me and let me go right now. Satan, loose your hold of me. Hurry up. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. You get out of there right now, you stinking devil. Stop stealing my life away from me. What's wrong with you, hon? What's wrong with you? I, I have a problem, so I want to get out of all the demons that I have. Yeah, how'd you get them all? Um, well, I've been repenting, I'm forgiving, but... How'd you get the demons? For my attitude, I, I don't grow in the spirit. How did you, how did you, when you were younger, did you pick up a bunch of demons? Well, I'm being Christian 20 years ago. Yeah, what were you doing? Now, how did you pick up the demons 20 years ago? Probably for my disobedience, because I couldn't 
what were you doing? I couldn't understand, separately my emotions, What did you my do? Thoughts, my thoughts, I've been fighting with my thoughts. I rebuked the devil him that he would be on my mind. I... What sin did you do 20 years ago that got the demons in? What did you do? Well, probably for my disobedience. What, what disobedience? What did you do? Don't follow exactly his law. I am bad character and I'm getting mad for everything. Um, I would like to do... I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> now just slow your thoughts down for a second, okay? You did something 20 years ago that opened a door and let a spirit in. What did you do? Well, what were I, you doing? I, I don't have an idea, probably. You don't even know what you did? You don't know what sin you did 20 years ago, 30 years ago? What were you doing? I'm thinking that um, ever since I've been selfish, if when I'm doing selfish, I'm confessing, I have repented, and I'm trying to change it. So there, there's a there's a demon in there that's selfish. So you're self-centered because of that demon. Is that it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's go ahead and repent of it. Oh God, please forgive me, Lord, for disobeying Your Word and focusing on myself, wanting things to go my way, me being the number one. I repent of it right now. I was supposed to turn my body over to the Lord as a living sacrifice. I was supposed to do it 20 or 30 years ago. I didn't do it. Well, tonight I'm going to do it. Tonight I'm going to do it. I turn my body over to you, Lord, as a living sacrifice right now. And I become a slave of the Son of God. I'm going to be a slave of Jesus. Turning my body over right now. Spirit, you cannot be in my body anymore. You're going to come out of my body tonight. In the name of Jesus. Take a breath and blow. Blow. Breathe out of your mouth. Come out. Breathe. Come out, Spirit. Come out, Spirit. Let's go. Come out. Come out of me. Come out of my lungs, right here. Come out of my lungs. I command you to come out. I command you to leave. At a girl. Telling. I command you to come out. In Jesus' name. You speak in tongues? You don't? Okay, just pray after me then, okay? Buya basha. Kemosati. Begoba. Did you notice that I was using uh, short syllables? Yeah. yeah. And I was using different syllables? Yeah. Moyama. Moyama. Beshomasia. Notice that? Moyama. Notice how easy you were repeating it? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now let's try it now. Adagro, you go. Good girl. Any syllable. Keep going. There you go. Good girl. Keep going. Louder. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Louder. What? No, those are your tongues. Go ahead. Yeah, they're not the devil. Go ahead. Andre Moshandra Vava. Hey, do you speak in tongues? Can you come over here a minute? Okay. Okay, listen to her. Listen to her when she speaks, okay? You repeat after her. Go ahead. Loud. Louder. On de mo shandro mo. At a girl, good. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Speak it out. There you go. Come out of there, devil. Hurry up. Come on. There he comes. Come on. Quickly. There he comes. Quickly come out. Quick. Quick. Come out quick. Quickly. Quickly. Quick. 
I'm submitting my body a living sacrifice. Come out of my body. You can't have my body anymore. You come out of my body right now. Come out of that. Good girl. Perfect. Perfect. Lord, I'm going to ask you to manifest her gifts of healing, which is what she'd love to have. I want you to manifest it, and I want you to forgive her for letting circumstances in her family overcome her. She gets tired of nonsense. Please forgive her, Lord. In Jesus' name. Spirit, you let this beautiful woman of God go right now. Come out. Come on out. Come on, quickly. Quicker. No more family nonsense. No more. Let your tears go. Come on. You're doing beautiful. Speak it out. Good. That's how you do it. You step out by faith and you speak it out. You let go of me, devil, right now. All this pressure on me. That's what Brother Mike was teaching on, pressure. I command this pressure to lift off of me. Lift off of me. What are you thinking about right now? Nothing. I'm just repeating. Nothing? No. Here, use your mind and think, um, I think praise thoughts and speak out your prayer language. Good. Holy Spirit, please touch her. Holy Spirit, touch. Holy Spirit, touch. Holy Spirit, touch. Holy Spirit, go. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heart heal. Heart heal. I forgive every member of my family. All of them. No more family nonsense for me. Out. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. Unda moshandra, da moshandra. Atta, girl. Let your praise go. Come on. Let your praise go. Jerry, come on. What's going on with her? She's got a spirit of heaviness on her. Heaviness, depression. When that start? A couple weeks ago. But I've, Two no, weeks ago? It's, it's been coming since March. March. What Did you have it intermittently when you were a kid? Yeah. When you were a kid? Well, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why? Why? When you were a kid? Father committed suicide. What's your dad's name? Harold. Harold? All right. Yeah. What was the diagnosis? Schizophrenia. Okay. And my brother is schizophrenia. Yeah. And he tried to, he tried to kill me three yeah. years ago. Yeah. Now, here's what happened. See that? Yeah, she's the one. That's, so, the one she just, uh, that's the one she just forgave today, right? Now... Your, your dad is in there. Your dad yeah. is in there. He's causing all these problems. Your brother, his demons killed him. They gave your brother schizophrenia. They told him to kill himself. And they gave you intermittent depression. It's your dad. What was his name? Harold. Harold. Okay, close your eyes there. Open your mouth. Take a big breath. Harold. Father God, I want you to go back in time when she was a child. The horror of seeing her dad mentally ill and kill himself is too much for a child to bear. And I want every demon from Harold out of here tonight. Go back, Lords. 60 years. Go back, Lord, 60 years. Harold, come out. Harold, come out. I command all my dad's demons to come out of me now. Suicide, death, mental illness, insanity. I command you, come out. Come out of my body. Come on my body right now. Come on my body right now. 
Harold, come out. Harold, come out of there. Come out, Harold. Harold, come out. Come out of there. What happened this week? Um, I think I took a... Well, I was slandering my mom, my mother, to my sister because she did something I didn't like. Well, your mom did or your sister? My mom. Okay, what's yeah. her name? Deb. Debbie? Yeah. All right. Lord, see this beautiful woman standing here? She just cursed herself. And if this curse isn't broken off tonight, her life's going to go sour real fast. Now, Lord, I don't care what her mother did. I want you to forgive her. She was an imperfect mother. She did things that were wrong. And she and I are going to forgive her right now. And everything she said, she's going to take back. And this mother curse breaks off of her. She will never trash her mother again. Never. Never. I repent of it. YouTubers, listen to me. You cannot trash your parents. It brings a curse on you. You're going to get cursed if you trash your parents. I don't care what your parents did. It doesn't matter what they did. You have got to forgive them. You got to repent. She's got throat cancer. Dad molested her. Throat cancer. Oh, she got throat cancer. Throat cancer. Yep. Uh, did you use to smoke? Did you use to smoke? Oh, you did. Can you stand up? Healing. All right, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for killing myself. I was committing slow suicide by smoking, and I did not turn my body over as a living sacrifice. I did not do it, and the devil got me to smoke. Then he gave me cancer. Now he wants to put me in an early grave, and I'm not supposed to die. I am to fulfill my destiny in the name of Jesus. I ask you to forgive me for smoking. I will. I'm so sorry for what I did. I did not take care of my body. Now I've got cancer and the devil's trying to kill me. But I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Cancer, you spirit, you dirty devil, you murderer, you murderer. Come out of her throat. Come out of her throat. Cancer, I curse you. Come out. Cancer, I curse you. Die. 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 Come out of that body right now. Come out right now. Come out of that body right now. Cancer. Be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Come out of that body right this second. Come out of there. Come out, you pervert. Come out, you smoker. Come out. The demon of cigarettes. Come out. Come out. Right now, hurry up. Hurry up. Come out of there. Come out of there. Come out of that body right now. Come out. I am not going to die. I'm not going to die. Come out. What's going on with her? 
uh, she has some financial worries and she doesn't know what to do. Yeah. That's not the problem, is it? What's the problem here? Fear. Fear of what? Well, you had fear before you got that. What was it? I also have a tremor, and I'm afraid I'm going to lose my mind and my body. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's all fear demons. But the problem is they took over her mind. She, she, she thinks like the devil. And she's supposed to think like her heavenly father. I just taught on it tonight, renewing your mind. She won't do it. Okay. Now, all those negative thoughts you just had about your losing your mind. Did you hear what she said? Because it's a It's a spirit doing it. Yeah, but you're. He's doing it. We can't get him gone until you renew your mind and stop making those statements. Did you hear what she said? You asked me what I was afraid of. Andrea, yeah, thank you. Perfect. Good. That's what's killing you. And that's the, the demon that's destroying your money. Jesus said, by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned you just condemned yourself right in front of us we are trying to get you to listen to this doctor not the other doctor no you're not healing you're well you're sick and you got financial problems the okay, word of faith crap doesn't work you have to truly believe it. See the difference? Yeah, I do see the difference. Okay. But I'm, I'm stuck. My body is so... No, it's not your body. It's your mind. My mind has yeah. got me stuck in yeah. a way where I can't function. Yeah. I mean, like, no else. Right. Right. Right, of course. They're winning and they're going to shut her down. As long as you keep feeding them, they will keep crushing you. That's what you're feeding them. Thoughts. Negative thoughts. Yeah? Now we had this discussion months ago. No. No, it's not new symptoms. It's negative thoughts allowing the demons to give you more symptoms. The more you feed them, the sicker you get. The more you smoke, the more cancer you get. Your cancer is your mind. Okay, go ahead and tell the Lord you're sorry and cast that demon out of there. Cast it out. You got to renew your mind or you are lost. You, if you do not renew your mind, you're finished. It's over. You must renew your mind. If you say negative things, you are feeding the monster. You're feeding... How are you doing right now? I am like a blockhead. What? I am blockhead. You're blocked. No, you're not. I heard you speaking in tongues earlier. Now, this time, switch over to praise. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, dear Lord. I love you. Thank you. Hey, will you start praising the Lord so she can hear you? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am not blocked. I am not blocked. I can praise God. And Brother Mike just heard me do it. That proves it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your mind determines your deliverance. If you will not renew your mind, you got to go down. Your mind. Huh? How you doing with your mind? Your mind. How's it going? What is it? What would you do? They picked me out for a special program that they're doing and they're utilizing demons to to do things to people. They've made spiritual weapons and they've planted a corn in my, my brain, but what they are doing is they're staying off site and they torture me at night in my room. Right. Um, I've had Satan visit me. I really need this to be trusted because my life's in danger for it. And they're actually watching this right now to see what will be done. Okay. Uh, the Phoenix Police Department took out a... Uh, they did it last year in my name, but they're doing it this year too. Uh, along with the U.S. government, a case for the wrong treatment that I've endured for a lot of money, and they're trying to take that money from me. In the meantime, when I'm staying at hotels, they sneak into my room, and they've tried to poison me. God's protecting me through that. Yeah, he likes you. Uh, my, doors, my door has been shut permanently. But I, I, it's involving some big people and some billionaires that are playing a sick, twisted game with me. Yeah. And putting things in my body that are just like they have a, a controller and they put uh, speakers in my, my brain and it turns it on and it shakes my whole body. And it causes a lot of, a lot of other things. Like right. right. My feet are numb. Yeah, I hear you. But I needed you to believe because I have no one else I can go to. Yeah, I believe you. That has the connections to actually bring this to life. I believe you. Okay. I don't know what to do. Cause well, I, I praise is the key. Well, I'm praise. Yeah, okay. Want to do it now? What's that? Okay. Want to do it now? No, I don't. Oh. I need to, oh, you don't? I don't okay. Do that. I, I'm trying to handle this. I, I no, no. Nope. But right now, it's my life. You, your praise will break it. I understand that, but right now, it's just looking like I'm running into another Christian that wants to just pray it away and it needs to be responded to. Yeah. Yeah. What's your next step? What are you going to do about it? Um, go to Cary Lake. Go to Cary Lake? Yeah. When are you going to go there? Um, on Monday. But I'm Monday? Okay. There, there Will you let me know what happens when you go to carry? I see ours coming here tonight. They're, they're cheering right now for the fact that nothing's going to be done, but let me let you know. I need some, I mean, you have the connections to get somebody to listen to yeah. what's going on. It's... So you're going to go to Carry Lake Monday? Yes. Okay. Will, she, will, she, will they listen to you? Um, I, they'll will because they know the people in government that are doing this to me. Yeah, they, got, they know more about it than I do. Okay. Yeah, well, let me know what happens Monday, and I'll help you. I might, well, I know I won't be dead by then, but they're actively torturing me every night. Yeah, I know. You got to use your authority in Christ and fight them back. I do, but it's, it's big main people. You mean people or the demons? Well, billionaires, yeah, the, I... I'm not a billionaire. Yeah, I know. All right. I mean, they took out a case in my name that got them a lot of money, and they're trying to kill me to keep that money. Is your mother here tonight? No, my mom oh. will trust her believe me. She doesn't believe you? No, they think that everything's going on in my head. Oh. Are, are you still on your meds? Yes, I'm on my meds. Oh, great. Okay, well, please come back. What is she talking about? She's talking again. <laughs> what is she talking she about? Better. Well, you stay over here. She's in, she's in what fight is, what mode. Is she, huh? She's, she's in, in fight mode. Okay, why is she talking to you if she's in fight mode? 
I'm not following this. Because she has a now, plan for tomorrow. she got a plan for tomorrow. Okay. Well, that isn't going to do us any good tonight, is it? Huh? That's not going to do us any good tonight. Okay. You okay? Okay. Well, no, that's not. What you See you later. No, that's not what you were told to do. You were told to get that thing out of your head. That fear demon. That fear demon. And then you stop. You start talking to her. You know, you know what this looks like? Mind control. It looks like your mind's being taken over. And you're letting it happen. Why are you doing this? Do, do you want to die? No! Well, do, do you feel unworthy? Do you hate yourself? What is causing you... I'm going through the miracle list. What's causing you not to fight back? I am ready to fight back. But... Why weren't you doing it now? You were yakking with her. Spirit, I commit... Why is she going away? She was helping. No, well, Why did you want her to go away? Okay, this is not funny. She's losing her mind. She's going to die and die ugly. This ain't funny. She's not listening. The question is, is it because she's retarded? It isn't interested? Or somebody in there won't let her listen? Which is it? Okay, she doesn't look like she's retarded. I'm going to rule that out. She doesn't look like she's totally indifferent, so I'm going to rule that out. So that means somebody's in there taking over her mind, and she's letting it happen. I've just changed my mind. I'm not going to let it happen. What are you going to do? I'm going to repent. Okay, and then... And then... The okay, and then... And then I'm going to do it again. Well, that won't work. You've got to get him out of there. Okay. He has to come out of, you, it was a fear Get demon. Out. Your whole life's been full of fear. Yeah, it has. I've okay. Seen, seen okay. PTSD. All right. Now go ahead and repent. And PTSD, they gave you PTSD, see? They give you everything. They gave that lady over there cancer. Yeah, it keeps on giving. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. No, you keep on receiving. I rebuke it. Okay, I, see, they have to be cast out. That's because you're not listening. You got to repent and rebuke it and cast it out. Good. Okay. Help her. Hey, what is with the red shoestrings? Oh, I'm trying to boost the attendance. Yeah, I'm trying to get the attendance up. All right, love you. See, you talked about offense before you're teaching. That's the Holy Spirit. Amen. YouTubers, this is Brother Mike. See you next Friday for another teaching. Go to the website, hardcorechristianity.com. I need you to hit the teaching button. I want you to read two articles. They're short. How Satan Controls the Mind and... Satan's counterattack. You will be hit within 48 hours of this service. Please remember the women's Zoom service, Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. The Zoom service for everybody is Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. You would not believe how anointed these Zoom services are. They are absolutely spectacular. 6 p.m. Wednesday night, Pacific time. My deliverance training class is the fourth Saturday of this month. I'll see you here at the Deliverance Center in the small sanctuary at noon. At noon. Please send me an email, mike at hardcorechristianity.com or call me for a counseling appointment at 602-636-5800. See you next time.